Yes, the boys, what's happening? Welcome to the first episode of the FIFA Academy on FIFA 21. Now, if you've been around with the channel since FIFA 20, towards the end of the game, I did bring out a series called FIFA Academy, where, well, to be fair, I only really went through custom tactics, but this is going to be like a tips and tutorial series, showing you how to play the game, mechanics, certain stuff like that. And we're kicking it off straight away where we left off from FIFA 20 with a custom tactics video. Now, obviously, as you can tell by the title and all of that, this custom tactic setup is for the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. Now, straight away looking at my team on the screen, you might be thinking, how are you playing 4-1-2-1-2 narrow with this team, which is obviously set up in a 4-2-3-1? And that question will be answered very shortly. I will show you the tactics and go through everything, including player instructions, all of that. Um, you'll have to ignore Ruben Diaz at left centre-back. I don't actually use this guy. Uh, this is a makeshift team. If you've seen my video from Thursday, uh, then you'll know like what's going on with this team and that and like where we've got the new players from like Lucas Moore is a new player which I'll explain in the tactics as well but without further ado boys if you do want to hit like on the video that would be much appreciated and if you are new around here please hit subscribe and you can keep up with all the custom tactics videos that we're going to bring out this year as well as the road to glory series where we're doing no money spent which is what this team is right here I haven't put a penny on FIFA this year and this is the team that we've got and then get, let's get into the tactics anyway so obviously we start off in the 4-2-3-1, uh, I don't really touch the balance, obviously I've dropped the depth by one, but it doesn't really matter because straight away from minute one, we switch to the defensive tactic, which is the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Now having a look at the tactics here, we've got it on balance for defensive style, balance for offensive style. Now I have tried a little bit with the press after possession loss, I've tried a bit with fast build up, but with fast build up like if you lose the ball when you're trying to build it up on the offensive style i'll just show you that now like as it says there you're prone to counter attack because if you miss a pass on the fast build up and all your players are legging it forward then you're going to get caught out of the back so i do leave offensive style and balance i feel that works well especially with the playing instructions you know i don't feel like you need a certain offensive style as for the defensive style similar thing that press after possession loss it is a good tactic but your players do get knackered for one and two like it's easy to play around if you play a high level player like i'm in division one now in division rivals if you play to a high standard on fifa like high level players division one uh like gold three and above in for champions probably gold one maybe especially like you're gonna get caught out by people who know how to beat press so we leave it unbalanced now as for the width obviously this is quite a narrow formation so we'll leave it up balanced on five because you don't want to bring it in make it even more narrow uh, and i don't want to leave it too wide either so we just leave that unbalanced as for the depth this comes down to preference you know i play on four i feel like four is sound for me i don't really get caught out of the back uh, my biggest problem at the start of the year was like people just lobbing through balls over the top uh, and i'm getting beat over the back of the defense so i did have to drop that down one bar to four and um, some people play on high like on like six or seven and if you want to do that, play aggressive, try and win the ball back early, then that is sound. Go for it. I, I like people who play like that because obviously people who play like on one depth with drop back, like, you know, you deserve bad things in life. So if you want to play on a high depth, you can. But obviously, like I say, all it takes is one ball down the line to a Dharma Traore who just legs it. You can't catch him. You can't push him off the ball because he puts oil on his fucking huge arms there. Yeah? And then he just crosses it across the box and it's a goal that you conceded. For the offense, yeah, we leave the width again, similar to the defense on five. Don't change that at all because, as I say, narrow formation. Don't want to bring it too close together. And I don't want to put it too wide because I hate playing with wide players on this game. Uh, like the 4 2 3 1 formation. I just don't get along with it. I feel like the wide players, the left cam and the right cam or left mid right mid, they just don't get involved at all. Uh, players in the box, I've got quite high to be fair on six. I think it starts on five. I've put that up a notch to six. Um, I just like having players in the box. Obviously, you know, this year on FIFA, you can just run down the line and cut it across and you need those players in the box to get on the end of the cutback. So. We have that on six there. As for corners, I've got it on three. You know, you can score corners this year uh, as long as you've got a tall guy at the front post to come and win those headers. Uh, like I've got Calvert-Lewin, player of the month, who's at my front post all the time. And he wins headers, do you know what I mean? He doesn't score many because he's shit. But it's a good like it's a good to have people in the box of corners, John. You could drop that back to two bars if you wanted, um, if you're scared of getting like counted or whatever. But I just like having it on three, whipping it in, hoping someone gets on the end of it. As for the free kicks, though, I do put that on two because um, I don't like if I've got a free kick from the wide position I'll never cross it really so there's no point having those players in the box I'll always pass it short and if you pass it short and it gets tackled or it's a bad pass then you're going to get counted so I drop the free kicks to two and then we're flying now you can see the team there yeah 
Obviously, we start in a 4 2 3 1. That's got two wide players. This formation has no wide players. We've got the normal back four. You've got Alan one to watch in the CDM. Uh, go back and check the road to glory if you want to see how we packed him. On the right centre mid, we've got Musa Sissoko. High, high work rates. Great player. You know, he's fast. Got good physical stats. Got good defending. Um, good player to have in like that box to box CM position. Now, the left CM is Lucas Mora. Now, you might think that's crazy, but we was using Dan James. We've only just got Lucas Moura this morning uh, on the Thursday rewards, yeah, from Division Rivals. But we was using Dan James in that position there, and he was sick. Like, he was actually boss. You know, Daniel James, he's 5 for 4. He's got no strength. He's never seen a weight in his life. He's probably never even smelt a gym, and he's 5 for 4, and he's got curly hair. But he's got 95 pace. So when I was having uh, players run out, like, against me trying to counter-attack, I'd have Dan James in a CM position who could just leg it back and follow the attackers. And he'd always win the ball back. He's probably got about 40 defending, yeah. But for some reason, just having him in that position and the custom tactics, he'd always make interceptions and that, so it was a madness. So uh, Lucas Moura there in that position is going to take over from uh, Dan James now. So hopefully he can give us a good performance in that position for this weekend league coming up. Now the cam, we have Rashford and then obviously our two strikers, Rodrigo and Calvert-Lewin. I am looking to replace Calvert-Lewin because I just really, really hate that guy there. But as for the custom tactics, boys, now you can actually change custom tactics on your keepers. So if you want your keepers to come out for crosses, you can. Or stay cautious with crosses, you can. I just leave it balanced. Um, if you prefer a sweeper keeper as well, you can put that on as a setting. Um, a lot of people don't know this because they don't like never look at the goalkeeper on the player instructions. But you can actually put player instructions on your keeper. I've never experimented with none of it. I feel like sweeper keeper would be a bad idea. Because when your keeper does run out this year, he's a fucking idiot. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Um, like they just run out and like they don't know what to do with it. They'll either when they've got time to control it and play the ball out, they'll just boot it in the air or header it out for a throw in, and you're like, lad, what are you doing? Or they'll run out and do an absolute madness, and then you'll just get tackled and concede. So I just leave that there. Yeah, centre backs we leave the same as well. Full backs is the usual. Um, stay back while attacking on the right back. And the left back. Um, I did try to start a FIFA to try and have like an attack and full back formation, but it just didn't really work out. Um, so obviously just stay back while attacking on them man there. As for the CDM, yeah, our central defensive midfielder, we've got stay back while attacking for the attack and support and defensive position and cover centre. Now this is like the same old, same old that you'll see on a lot of like every formation pretty much is the same. For your centre mid, you want them to cover the centre of the park because obviously if they run out wide, um, you just leave someone open in the middle. And like I've said a million times, if you've got big oily Adama Traore down the wing and Alan's ran across to cover him, no one's watching fucking the little sweat in the box who's running in to get the top in. So you've got to leave him on cover centre. Stay back while attacking because he's got medium high work rates. He's just like a little anchor. He's a little rock that sits in front of the centre arse and just protects that back line. Now, as for me, right centre mid, Musa Sissoko, we've got stay back while attacking and cover centre again, but we've got stay on the edge of the box for cross. Now, I do have six players in the box or six bars for the players in the box on the tactic section. But I want Sissoko to stay on the edge because I'll have a lot of players in the box for those crosses or the sweaties, yeah? But if, like, the defender tries to clear it or something to, like, the edge of the box or, like, the ball just gets rebounded out, I need someone to sit on the edge of the box. And I'm sure Sissoko has high shot power. I might have just made that up completely and be capping on screen. But um, if he stays on the edge of the box, he wins that ball back off the lucky deflection or the bounce or the clearance. And he can just rifle one in from the edge of the box, you know what I mean? Rip the net open. But yeah, so that is what we've got for Sissoko. Now as for Lucas Moura, because he's obviously an attacker, and but he's playing centre mid, um, I leave him on balanced attack. I don't tell him to stay back. Uh, I do tell him to cover centre still. And that's what I like. I'm saying about Dan James, like he was always in the right position for the interceptions, just from that cover centre uh, tactic there or instruction. So with Lucas, I'm sure it'll be the same thing. Uh, but then we do have get into the box for cross. I feel like this is one of the best playing instructions that you can have on this year. Uh, get into the box for cross because, like, like I say, I've been saying it a million times, but it's what everybody does on FIFA 20 Division three, two, and above, uh, or three, two, and one. I said above as if there's like seven divisions above Division 2. Division 1, 2 and 3. That's the divisions I've played in this year so far. And everyone does the same thing. Down the line, cut across. So if you can't beat them, join them. If you ever end up in a position where you're down the line, you need to cut across. You need man in the box. And that's what we're going to have with this uh, custom tactics here in this formation. Jumping into the cam, we've got Marcus Rashford. He's on stay forward and get into the box across. Exact same reason as I said before, for the get into the box across. And stay forward means he'll never come back on the defence. Now, what that means is, is that 
say you win the ball back, yeah, your three defenders in the middle of the park is going to be Alan, Sissoko and Mora. You CDM and your two CMs and you've got the four back line. That's seven players at the back, yeah. I don't feel I need that you need like your cam or your strikers to come back on the defence as well. If you leave your cam on stay forward, when you win the ball back, you're going to have three man up front at all times. Three man up front at all times to go and get on those counter attacks. Uh, and obviously with Lucas being on getting to the box across and he's not on stay back while attacking, Lucas is going to bomb forward as well from that left centre mid position for the counter attack. So you're always going to have three to four players for the counter attacks, which is just perfect because you know you can do a little teak attacker, little triangle passes, get through the defence, um, and you know, obviously go and score a goal. So yeah, that is what we've got for Rashford. Now, as for the strikers, we've got on Calvert Lewin, we have get in behind and stay forward, and on Rodrigo, we do have get in behind and stay forward. Exactly the same reason as I said for Rashford for the get in be I mean for the stay forward, sorry. Because you're always going to have the man up top. You don't need them to come back and defend uh, unless you're a little sweat. You plays one back, uh, one depth, drop back with all your players on comeback on defence. And you are an absolute scumbag if you do that, just to let you know. Um, yeah, so we've got getting behind on the attacking runs for both Rodrigo and Calvert-Lewin. Now, I feel like this tactic might be a bit broken. Um, I don't know whether that is the tactic or just the game or just like how players move in the AI. Because like, say I've got the ball with Lucas, yeah. And then I'm looking at Rodrigo directly ahead of me. He'll point down the line and say, yes, down the line, split the fucking right back and the right centre back. Yeah, I'm going to make that run in there. And then as soon as you press the button to power up the pass, he'll just stop and then run the other way. And it's like, lad, where are you going, bro? I've powered up the pass. You said that you're running in behind the defence there and then they'll run somewhere else. So I don't know if that is the tactic um, or the instruction or if that is just how disabled the AI is on FIFA 21. Uh, I mean, it's happened every every year, but obviously with the new creative runs uh, and stuff like that, which I might do a tutorial on, like, you know, you can sort of like con uh, like deal with that problem there, do you know what I mean? But yeah, boys, that is going to be it for the custom tactics. Now, this is the team that I am going to use in the weekend league and the tactics I'm going to use in the weekend league this week. Obviously, first weekend league starts tomorrow, Friday or today. By the time this video goes up, it's probably Friday. So yeah, boys, that is going to be it for the player instructions. I do have a 4-4-2 setup and a 4-3-3 setup also in the custom tactics bank. So if you want to see that, if that's a formation that you're more into, 4-4-2 and 4-3-3, let me know in the comments below and I will get a tutorial ready for that uh, as soon as possible, boys. So yeah, that's going to be it. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video, boys. Take it easy.